in this video i'm going to be talking about conditionals and if statements now uh, programming is all about conditionals and programming is all about creating logic and implementing it in code in this video we are going to be seeing how to create a program that will uh, kind of think for you and will do some kind of thing only if a certain condition is met so let me write tutorial 12.py here uh, sorry tutorial 13.py since this is our 13th video and i have already uploaded 12 videos in my uh, python tutorials for uh, beginners playlist so make sure to access that playlist and uh, bookmark it or save it wherever you want to coming back to visual studio code uh, i'm gonna be talking about if else conditionals so before I start if else conditionals, I want you guys to uh, recall comparison operators that we already studied in our operators video. If you haven't already watched that video or any video of this series, I urge you to go back to this playlist and starting from the very first video, watch it till the very end. That way you will learn optimally. Now again, uh, let me give you a scenario now and let us talk about something here. Let us say you ask user for his age and after asking user for his or her age, you decide whether you want him to drive or not. So let us say age is equal to int input and I'm going to be giving a prompt here. Enter your age. Oops, I think I did a mistake here. Uh, it looks good now. So after you run this program, uh, let me write down an f string here your age is age and if i run this program uh, the program will ask me for the age and i'll enter the age and it will print me back and the age that i've already typed so let me also collapse this explorer so that i have some more space and you can see what i'm writing here uh, so it will ask me enter your age i'm waiting for it and it takes some time when you are running it for the first time and after that it doesn't take that amount of time so it's asking me age let me say 45 it's saying your age is 45 now based on the age that i have entered if i want my program to perform certain action i can do that so how to do that uh, we are going to be seeing if statements so all i'll do is i'll say if and inside if i'll say if age is greater than 12 or rather 18 I'll give a colon here now this is python syntax I want you to understand it uh, nicely uh, just listen to me very carefully and you'll understand it so if I write an if statement here and if I say age is greater than 18 now after I bring a colon here and press enter my visual studio code will automatically give this space or a tab so as you saw that it automatically uh, gave me a tab here as soon as I press enter from here so the moment you press enter you'll get an indent now if I again write an if statement here and say I write if one it'll give me another indent so I can keep on indenting and I can keep on going inside if statements or for loops that we are going to be seeing very soon so whenever I say if age is greater than 18 and if I press enter key you can see that this space is automatically added by my python uh, in fact my visual studio code uh, now if I press enter key and if I say print you can drive and after this if statement I can optionally write an else statement so if I write an else statement my control will go inside else statement only if it fails to go in the if statement so it will say print you cannot drive control is to save now if I'm not able to go inside this if statements because of this condition being false I'll be going inside else statement but if my condition evaluates to true I'll be seeing this statement which means that either if or else will be printed so if I run this program and if you input an age which is greater than 18 let me say 45 it will show me you can drive on the other hand if I say something like 4 it will say you cannot drive so this is how conditionals work in Python now you can have something like if else if else if else if and it is called if elif else ladder let us see how it works in code if I write something like elif and if I say age is equal to equal to 27, I'll say print your age is magical. 
and again if I say elif age is equal to equal to 35 and if I say print your age is super magical and if age happens to be neither greater than 18 nor 27 nor 35 it will go inside else and it will print you cannot drive so let me give you an example to show how this works so if i enter an age which is uh, say less than 18 so let us say uh, if i say something like uh, 34 which is obviously greater than 18 i'll see you can drive so if i write something greater than 18 i'll see you can drive now if I give 27 as my age, it is obviously greater than 18. So this will never get executed because it will automatically say if age is greater than 18 and 27 will be greater than 18, it will uh, give me you can drive as an output. So I'll show you. So if I enter 27, I'll not see this one. I'll see this one rather. And the reason I saw you can drive is because my Python control will come here and it will check whether the age is greater than 18 or not. If it is greater than 18, it will ignore all the subsequent elif, elif and else statement. If my age is greater than 18, if my if condition evaluates to true, it will ignore all the elif and else statements after that. So so if I say if age is greater than 18 now since 27 satisfied this criteria I am seeing you can drive printed on my screen if I say something like if age is less than 18 you cannot drive and if it is greater than 18 I'll say you can drive so if I say something like this and if I uh, input 27 so what essentially will happen is it will say your age is magical why did this happen because i enter 27 as age so it will check if statement if statement will evaluate to false my python interpreter will say harry age is not less than 18 age is greater than 18 so you need to go to next elif statement now it will check next elif statement and it will say okay Harry age is equal to 27 we need to stop here and we need to ignore all the elif and else statements so it will ignore all the subsequent elif and else statements and you can see uh, your age is magical has been printed on the screen on the other hand if I say age uh, if I input my age as 35 and I press enter it will check this one first this will evaluate to false this will also evaluate to false this will evaluate to true so it will say okay since age is equal to 35 uh, we need to stop here and we need to ignore all the else and elif statements now by ignoring all the subsequent elif and else statements I mean that all these statements starting from this if to a this else will be ignored so starting from this if and this else all the elif statements will be ignored but if i start another if statement here that will run independently so if i say if one or if true uh, which will always evaluate to true i am always printed so even if i write 37 uh, sorry 27 or 35 let me write 27 this will be printed because uh, age is equal to 27 this will evaluate to true so this will be printed your age is magical and it will ignore all the elif and else statements up till here up till the else statement after that this if statement will run independently and i want you guys to understand this so I hope that if statement and elif statement and if elif else ladder has been understood by you properly and you can now implement this in code. Now I want to show you some logical operators in action. So what I'll do is I'll comment down this code or rather I'll say that uh, enter your age and uh, I'll say enter your name. And I'll say backslash n. Now I've already told you that I'll be telling you about escape sequences very soon. But consider this backslash n as a new line character. So if I run this program now, I'll be seeing my prompt in the next line. So I'll just remove this white space. Now if I say if age is less than 18 and name is equal to or uh, so I'll say or I don't want to use and here I want to say a or name is equal to equal to or name is not equal to Harry so let me uh, save it 
So you can see that a user will enter his age first and then he will enter his name and if his age is less than 18 or his name is not Harry, he cannot drive. So if you enter any name other than Harry, this will evaluate to false and it will say you cannot drive. So let me show you. So if your age is less than 18, uh, so if I say 4 and if I say Rajiv, it will show me you cannot drive because either this or this has to be true for this to be printed for my if statement to get executed so if i want my if statement to go through i need either this or this to evaluate to true in this case my age is four so four is indeed less than 18 so either this or this has to be true now since this has already been evaluated to true I will go inside the save statement and uh, I'll see you cannot drive printed on the screen. Let us say I see something like, uh, I enter something like 15 and then I say Harry. Then it will say you cannot drive. Now if I enter my age as say 78 and I enter my name as Harry and since both of these conditions uh, are not true this if statement will fail to execute so it will again check for elif then again it will check for next elif the next elif and eventually it will have to go to else and it has no other option but to uh, execute this or to print this line which is you can drive which is the reason you are seeing this you can drive now this might not be the best example but i know you understood this and i want you to test this in several other examples in several other scenarios and you will understand how if else elif all these things work in action so i want to give you a quick quiz and i want to see how many people are solving the quiz so the quick quiz is you have to ask a user for two numbers and if the numbers are or rather if the sum of the numbers is greater than 100 you have to tell them that they have entered a huge number so uh, you what you have to do is you have to say uh, enter your number and then you have to say enter another number and the user will enter two numbers and the moment they enter two numbers you have to convert them to int and you have to add them up and once you add them up you have to tell them whether it is greater than 100 or not if it's greater than 100 you have to tell them that you have entered a huge number so I hope you like this video. I want you to access this playlist as soon as possible so that you don't miss any video. And I'm going to be adding more and more videos to this playlist. Also, if you haven't already solved this exercise one, I want you to go to video number six and solve this exercise and that way. I will evaluate your solution. I'm evaluating all the solution that uh, I'm posting as exercise. I will be evaluating all the solutions posted by you. So make sure to go to this video and post your solution. Also make sure to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I will see you next time.